Project Big Bird is brought to you by the letter B and by the number 6. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. What is up, Spezinators? I'm your host, Nathan Spees, and welcome to episode 4 of Project Big Bird. This episode, we will be doing the body, and we're also going to be doing the arm mechanism. Now, you can, as you can probably tell, this is another commentary video, but I promise the next video is going to not be a commentary video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off his tail. That way, it's a lot easier to get to the body with the tail off. Alright, so I got the tail off, and this is the funniest part. It's stuffed with foam. I don't know why they stuffed it with foam, I don't know why they didn't just go with normal stuffing, but... Yeah, that's terrible. I, I did fill it with stuffing, though. Off camera. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the X-Acto knife, and we're going to take the scissors. We're going to cut open the body. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut about... Maybe five inches off the neck. I have to keep the neck intact because that's where the head's going to go. And, uh, yeah. This is what it looks like after I cut open the back. Now you're inside of Big Bird. Wow, look at that. This is what Big Bird looks like on the inside. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go take the tail back upstairs. And we're going to do some modifications to it. Alright, so here's what I've done with the tail so far. I decided to add my... 10 to 12 inch long yellow feathers on the end of the tail just to make the tail a little bit longer but also because I wanted it to be more like the actual Big Bird tail since the uh, the one that came with the costume wasn't really that good it was basically just foam it didn't really look anything like a tail it was just a ball so I took these yellow feathers and I glued them all around the tail and so yeah here, here's me doing it and, uh, I'll see you when I get all the feathers on. So this is what it looks like with all the feathers on. As you can see, it's very, very floofy, very feathery. It looks more like a bird tail than the original one did. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the body up here, and we're going to do some modifications to the body. Alright, so now that I got the body up here, as you can see, I cut, I took all the feathers off the top, just so the head can sit on the body easily. And then I took out, there was this metal bar at the bottom, and I took that out, and now the costume is a lot more comfortable. And so uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the hands, I took the hands, and I stuffed them with stuffing, because they were originally flat, but I decided to make them more stuffed, just so they didn't look that weird. And then you can't really see it, but I decided to mark out where the... Uh, vision hole is going to be because I have to add a new vision hole because the original vision hole like I wasn't able to see out of the costume at all so I had to make a new vision hole and that's what it looks like this is a square that I cut out of the body and I couldn't find any mesh so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some plastic that came off a toy and uh, yeah it's very see-through and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint some of it yellow and I'm gonna pop I'm gonna cover it in feathers just so that it can hide my face a little bit better, like in this picture right here, or this video, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's all covered in feathers, and uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. So, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to cover the back with yellow fabric just to expand the body so it's easier to puppeteer. Here's what I look like with the body, just so I can see where the fabric's going to go. There's the fabric attached to the body. And uh, you can also see the luggage clips that I added onto Big Bird. That's going to be the clips that attach his head to his body. Just so it's not as heavy. Alright, so I have his head attached. You can't see the luggage clips, but trust me, they're on there. And I also moved his pupils down, because people were complaining about his pupils, so I, just, I decided to change those. And you can see that fishing wire that was on his beak. That's going to be for his, uh, for his arms. And for his hands, just so that I can move his hands a little bit better, even when I'm puppeteering the head. Here's the rings that are going to be on his arms and his neck, just to hold the string. So here's what the string looks like on the body. You can see the hands are slightly above the ground. But, 
uh, oh, there you go. You can see it a little bit better right here. Yeah, that's the nice thing about it being invisible, is that you can't see it. But we're not going to tie it on there permanently just yet, because I'm going to be attaching the feathers to his back. Here's a progress shot of the feathers on his back, and you can also see his tail. Alright, so the feathers are completely done. They're all attached on his back, and I also attached his tail. So now we're going to take the marionette string, attach it to his head and arms, and then I'll do the outro. Alright, he's done, guys. This is it. Project Big Bird is complete. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the final episode of Project Big Bird. Bye-bye!